Hey guys, welcome back to Not One Videos. At the minute I'm working on a project that's not quite ready to show you guys yet, but today I'm going to show you some elements that I'm putting into that build, specifically Battle Carnage Scatter. So this is the site of an ancient battle. There's lots of shields and spears and maybe some skeletons strewn around the place. And yeah, I'm going to be using green stuff. This stuff is absolutely awesome for sculpting little things. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen it before. And luckily for me, on Sunday, we had Carl from Carl Makes Stuff over on the Crazy Crafter live stream, and he had a few extra little tips uh, for making this stuff easier to work with. So thanks, Carl, and yeah, I hope you don't mind me sharing some of your tips. So yeah, let's make some Battle Carnage Scatter. Okay, so here are the little scatter pieces that I made on the Crazy Crafter live stream on Sunday under the expert guidance of Carl from Carl Makes Stuff. Now, they are not perfect little mini sculpts, but they are more than fit for purpose as battle debris in the diorama that I'm working on. This video is not designed to be a tutorial, so to speak, but I will discuss a few parts of the process as I'm going along, and you will be able to see exactly what I'm doing on screen as I go. As you can see, in my diorama, I'm going to be using some little skeletons, shields, helmets, swords, spears, and lots and lots of arrows. Okay, things that I will be using. So, I've got my green stuff, which right now is blue and yellow stuff. I have a pot of Vaseline and I'll talk about that in a minute when I start using it. Then I have a ping pong ball that I will be using to shape the shields, not essential but I find it really handy. And once again I've raided my wife's kitchen for her cake making tools, shh don't tell. I'm also going to be using my carving knife as a sculpting tool because it's super comfortable in the hand and I'm used to using it. And last but not least, toothpicks for fine details. Right, while I'm undertaking the highly complicated task of mixing up my green stuff, I thought I'd mention that I totally forgot to do my shoutouts for the Skyrim quiz that I did in my Skyforge video. So if you entered that quiz, stick around to the end of this video and keep an ear out. Everyone who entered the correct answers will be getting a shoutout at the end. Now to unravel the mysteries of the Vaseline, a tip from Carl. The thing about green stuff is that it's super sticky. Using a bit of Vaseline to coat your tools is going to stop the green stuff from sticking and it'll make it a lot easier to work with. As you can see here, I'm also putting a light coating on the ping pong ball. This will make it easier for the green stuff to come off the ball when I'm done. As I'm first going to be tackling some shields, I want to have a curve in the shield, that's why I'm using the ball. The ball is also a handy tool for holding things close up while you work on your sculpting. Now from this point with the shields I think everything is rather self-explanatory and you can see the whole process on screen. It really is about personal preference and you could pretty much do any design that you like. For the diorama I'm working on these angular shapes are going to work perfectly and gladly for me they are not overly complicated to sculpt. I'm making two different designs for the shields for the obvious reason of giving the impression that two armies have fallen under each other's swords. Super easy and when they are painted up I think that they will look really effective. I just need another 20 or so. Okay, on to making one of the mini helmets, and this cake tool is pretty much exactly the right shape. Quick dip in the Vaseline and away we go. I just wrap a small amount of green stuff over the tip and mould it into place, and then carve away any unwanted bits of green stuff with my knife. Now this helmet design is a bit, how can I put it, basic let's say, and I could probably spend a lot longer making a really cool design. But this is part of the remnants of a battle, so it's going to look scuffed up and battered, so all you really need is the obvious outline and you're good to go. Right, on to the skeletons, and for these I am just going to be sculpting the upper rib cage and skull. I will also add some random bones to scatter around the place at a later stage. Sculpting a whole skeleton would just be a bit too detailed for my amateur level of sculpting, and the idea that the body has broken down adds a bit to the impression of the passage of time within the scene. It is a little bit fiddly trying to make these things, but it is really simple at the same time. I find that once you've pressed in the details with your tool, it kind of looks like the body still has a bit of flesh and skin around the skull and bones in various stages of decay. I know, macabre, but also extremely cool and fitting for my project. I mean, it would be a really easy shortcut to just buy some skeleton minis, but why waste your money when you can knock out a few of these in a short space of time? I then went on to make lots of little weapons like warhammers, spears and arrows etc. And for these I am just trying to give the impression of weaponry. There will be lots and lots of these in my diorama so any detail will be totally lost in the battlefield. No need to attempt painstaking process of fine details with these elements of the build. I did however spend quite a bit of time adding flights to all of the individual arrows just so that they look like arrows and not twigs sticking out of the ground. And that's it, my battle carnage debris sculpted from green stuff. When all of this dries, I will spray paint it with a black primer and paint them just like you would paint your minis. 
I haven't even made a quarter of the battle debris that I want for my diorama, so if you want to see how this all turns out within the piece, you'll have to come back and tune in for that when the project is complete. Okay, before I wrap up the video, here are the results of my Skyrim quiz with thanks to everyone who entered. Viewers who commented with the correct answers are as follows. Night Terrain, The Mini Mason, C.F. Callier, Lee Zhao, Guppy, MacAttack001, Jim Worth, Seanovich, Jonathan Glandel, Cake Place, Nias Mathias, Laura Elstad, Wilfred Nick, Nordic Beaver, Bottle Top Bill, S.T. Wart Shannon, Professor Smoke and Daniel Trainer. Congratulations guys, you have officially earned yourself a shout out and bragging rights in the comments below this video and also over on my Discord if you're a member. If you guys enjoy me including quizzes in my videos, let me know in the comments below and I will be sure to include one in my upcoming epic build. There we go guys, that's the end of this week's video. Thank you so much for tuning in, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just want to say a big thank you to my patrons before I go, who are on the screen right now. You guys are awesome and a big massive welcome to... Patrick Pullen, Derek Ludwig, Benjamin Bowles, and Jamatra Martin. So you guys are awesome, thank you so much. I hope you guys are enjoying the extra content that I'm putting out for you guys over there. And also before I go, I just want to mention uh, the Discord challenge that I have. I'm going to be running little dis uh, Discord challenges, little um, crafting challenges for the members there. And the one that we've got going on, the final date for that is Friday the 9th of April. So you've still got like a week to finish off your projects. Some of you guys have already been sending in photographs and they look awesome. I'm a bit nervous about my build now because some of them are definitely better than mine. But yeah, really good stuff guys. And that's it for today. I hope you all have a really good weekend. And next week, I don't think I'll have the completed project. But I will have another element of the build that's really, really cool to show you guys. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye. Join Colin Bressy, Daniel West and myself every Sunday at 10 a.m. PST. That's 6 p.m. UK time on the Crazy Crafter live stream featuring awesome guests every week from the crafting community. Link in the description below this video.